So I'm here with uh, Prof KK that I had the pleasure of meeting um, last week at our one-day meditation course where yes. we learned about mindfulness, meditation, and a bit about Buddhism. Um, highly recommend anyone who visits Thailand to come check out the program. And one of the concepts we discussed during the course that I find particularly interesting is the concept of ahimsa and doing non-violence or not killing yes. any living being. Yes. Could you tell us just a little bit about what that means to you? Yes. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to uh, tell you something about ahimsa or non-violence. You know, Buddhism is a way of life. It's a philosophy. It's not based on the faith or beliefs. It's to investigate in your life how to avoiding doing bad. Mm -hmm. It means how to avoiding your ahimsa, mm -hmm. non-violence, to have a good life. Then to purify the mind. Mm -hmm then to do something good to balance your life so in the buddhism the first step to train in your, in your life how to avoiding doing bad it means not to be uh, violent or harming other lives something like that so that's why if you go to study about the sila, mm -hmm. we call in Pali, sila means like a discipline of life. Mm -hmm. What should you avoiding? The first in uh, the Buddhist role, even for the monk, for the ordinary people, or we could call the precepts. Mm -hmm. It's part of the moral training, how to avoiding doing bad. The first role for the Buddhist monk abstaining or avoiding killing any living beings so what does mean any living beings it's between human or animal all living beings you know what i mm -hmm. mean yes no one can stop directly that's why you have to avoiding or abstaining mm -hmm. from killing step by step finally you will say you changed the practice and you can stop so mainly you sh uh, should avoiding, you know, your violence, not to harming any lives. So that's what I really want to share as well. Yeah, I think that's beautifully put. And I think, I guess when we look at animals, do you think animals can kind of experience life and experience happiness? Yes. Yeah. You know, recently I saw uh, a small documentary. Uh huh. I don't. I don't know how to say it. documentary. Oh, okay. Yeah, documentary. Yes. Yeah. So I think it was a party feel. Mm -hmm. uh, not exactly party field, it's ground, a uh -huh. big, big ground. Uh -huh. So the farmers, they cultivate. You know, they cultivate uh -huh. by, before we cultivate by the cow or buffaloes, mm -hmm. you know. But nowadays we use a machine, tractor mm -hmm. or something. So I have seen, you know, on the ground. So tractor was cultivating, you uh -huh. know, like, I don't know, something making the mud uh -huh. to plant some vegetable or something so there was a bird mm -hmm. there was a bird mama bird uh -huh. and with many babies uh -huh. birds uh -huh. the tractor big tractor is coming yeah. it's cultivating like <laughs> you know he that's called the mom like a, how unconditional love to kids she was covered with her two wings and babies was there it's and beautiful. the the, 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 the tractor was coming. She doesn't move. But it was very good luck. The driver, he was stopped. You know, mm -hmm. he was stopped. So the two wheels, four wheels, he was take up the sharp mm -hmm. things. You know, he was move on the next step. That's what I sh saw in a small documentary. It just come to my heart you know so that's what we we can learn not to harm uh any lives because you know animals has also emotion they have feelings mm. maybe they cannot talk or impress or to express mm -hmm. like a human being you know if i lost my mom i will cry people can see my sadness mm -hmm. you know animal animal being could not be like that 
but they have also emotion they have feelings you know that's why you can you can see you know if you paid a dog mm -hmm. you know you go to office when you come you they hear your sounds they will run yeah. outside of your uh, home and they will come and they will move the tails and go yeah oh, that's the happiness exactly. i miss you so Love much where do you did you go for all day that's like that you know or sometimes you can see in the youtube i i've seen that you know you someone they pet a dog uh -huh. you know and then let's say you have a kid or your girlfriend mm -hmm. you try to like it try to act that uh, you're beating or biting you know something to your wife or children the dog come and they protect to, uh. something like that so i think the uh, animal being has also a lot of emotion and feelings but they cannot say that like human being you know so we should respect to all living beings we should share our kindness compassion love forgiveness you know to have a good life to live with happiness mm -hmm. not to harm yourself not to harm others so overall yeah everyone yeah. has feelings and emotion as well i think that's beautifully put and do you think that when we um take an animal's life we violate their their right to experience future happiness you mean yeah like do you, do you think we keep them from experiencing future emotion and future happiness when we take their life uh well you know i just want to say we should be aware not to violence to any living beings mm. we should not harm ourselves we should not harm others mm -hmm. that's why buddhism is a way of life they talk about the balance mm -hmm. you know you should not even violence yourself not to others you know so for example you see people are killing animals and enjoying to eat them do you think it's right i don't think so mm. everyone has right to live not right to take the lives no matter human being or animal being you know mm -hmm. That's why we have the rules, regulation in the world. People, they don't follow their rules, mm -hmm. you know. So, an example, you see people, someone, they kill animal and they are enjoying to eat them. How can they do that? Yeah. Can you imagine? You harm someone and you are eating. Actually, if you kill, uh, let's say, pig, maybe there has Bobby's pig, mama pig, daughter pig, or son pig. No, no, what I mean. I'm so Understand, sorry for my yeah. English. I understand, you know, yeah. Or you kill, let's say, a, a cow, there could be, uh, how to say, it? family, you know, something right. like that. So, people still doing, you know, something bad, like harming other living beings for their happiness, enjoy to eat them, sell them, making money, you know, something like that. But who am I to change others? That's why according to Buddhism, Buddha said, Atahi Atananato. You know, if you never change yourself, nothing will change in your life. You know, if you want to gain peace and happiness, live with happiness, do good, avoid bad, purify your mind. You know, so this is uh, what I want to tell to people. Mm -hmm. Avoiding violence, doing bad. You know, and do something good. And good or bad, who will decide? Your mind will decide. Yeah. So, train your monkey mind, uh -huh. you know, to be more positivity mind, to detach from your negative thoughts, mm -hmm. you know, something like that, to have more loving kindness, compassion, respect mm -hmm. to all living beings, you know. And do you think that, um, uh, what's the Buddhist principles um, around like milk from a cow? or eggs from a chicken? Is that, where does um, uh, the Buddhist teachings um, have to say about that? Well, actually, as I told you, part of the moral training of Buddhism, the first is to investigate or to examine mm -hmm. by practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess just talking about yeah. um, uh, milk from a cow or eggs from a chicken, I'm curious what the Buddhist teachings have to say about that. 
All right. So in the Buddhist principle, the, in the moral training, you know, uh, to avoiding or abstaining doing bad. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, still people are having different behavior. Mm -hmm. You know, so for example, some people are killing, eating. You know, so Buddha's teaching said that avoiding doing bad. Some people still doing bad. They don't avoid. For example, okay, now let's say some are non-vegetarian, uh -huh. some are vegetarian, some are vegan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so according to Buddha's teaching, said that avoiding doing bad. Okay, so so that's why Buddhism talk about the karma. Mm -hmm. It goes around, comes around, cause and effect. Mm -hmm. So someone, they are non veg for example, I don't mean all people they kill and they eat. But some people they kill and they enjoy to eat. Mm -hmm. You see. And then some are non veg still okay, but still they are eating egg mm -hmm. or animal product. You know, like a milk or something. They mm -hmm. don't eat only meat. Okay. Some are vegan. You know, so they how to say even don't eat the egg or mm -hmm. animal product. You know, so in the three different ways it's up to your cho choice which one you want to take but i think my personally vegan is the one of the best option i understand yeah like. and i think uh i guess as a, a lay buddhist it sounds like one of the main principles is to not steal yes so given um milk from a cow is produced for their young yes would it be considered stealing to take that milk from them who are, who are the ve vegan uh, it's, it's just very nice you know you are not taking any animal product you know you are taking only vegetables something like that mm -hmm. but although what I want to say we have to learn how to uh, not viol violence to any living beings to learn mm -hmm. we have to learn how to avoiding doing bad you know first then mm -hmm. you can easily purify your mind then you can have more wisdom yes that's what I really want to share yeah, and I guess given the thing I was shocked to learn is that even with um, um, milk from a cow or um, eggs from a chicken that they're still killing, the male offspring oftentimes aren't profitable, so they're killed within the first day or two often. So, uh. you know, I guess when, and one of the things I really admire about Buddhism is seeking the truth. Yeah. So I think looking behind the curtain a bit mm -hmm. and learning these things, it sounds like um, maybe the intention of some of the teachings yes. is to follow that pursuit if you are vegan you don't have to worry about that yeah and that's it that's it why not err on the yeah. side of caution so that, right so as i told you people are more mainly you know three different ways non-veg veg and vegan mm -hmm. you know so we start from the non-veg you know we eat meats or uh, some you know animal product whatever so if you learn how to avoiding doing that your moral training you learn how not to violence to mm -hmm. others you see how important mm -hmm. Then in that practice, somehow your mind changed to be vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are not eating any meat. You know, still you are eating like egg or milk from the animal. You know, and when you keep practice that, you understand step by step. Actually, egg also make a baby chicken, mm -hmm. or you know, like a milk also. I'm taking from the animal, something like that. So when you understand, when you t more put your moral training avoiding doing bad or not to violence others you know mm -hmm. then you change to be vegan mm -hmm. so most important the practice how to avoiding bad how to do good how to purify the mind you know so i wish one day everyone will be more you know uh non-violence uh -huh. people to make more to all living beings to live with peace and happiness you know uh something like that that's what i want to say beautifully put and I guess one last thing around the um, uh, veganism I guess other forms of animal use um, in Thailand there's a lot of elephants being used yeah. for entertainment being ridden or being forced to take baths when they may not want to yeah um, is there anything in the Buddhist teachings that say we shouldn't get entertainment or you know the other forms of animal use okay in that way it's quite difficult to tell you guys you know because yeah. I, I, I okay I tr truly understand you know there could be so many Buddhist people I'm they said that I'm Buddhist uh -huh. but they don't follow the teachings you know it's happened to every religion someone say I'm Christian actually they have never been to Christian church or read yeah. the Bible 
You know, even could be there is some monks who said I'm a Buddhist monk, but they don't know what's the role of Buddhist monk. Mm -hmm. It's just wearing their robe. Mm -hmm. And that's why Buddhism says investigate, practice until you find the truth. Change yourself. Yeah. Buddha cannot change you. Something like <laughs> that, you know. So you yeah. have to practice following the teaching, you know. So uh, now let me tell you, uh, let's say in Thailand, even it, especially in Chiang Mai, has many elephant sanctuary park, the elephant park mm -hmm. sanctuary. They are gaining a lot of money by entertain, entertaining the elephant to the people, you know. So in that way, if you think in the negative way, you will see it's the negative. If you see in the positive way, it's kind of positive, you know. For example, any elephant is a big animal, mm -hmm. very strong, powerful. Nowadays, we are l losing a lot of big, big animal, ancient animal, because people destroy the jungle, the forest ran, the rain for rainforest of this and that we destroy everything mm -hmm. industrial became more and more developing so now animal has no place to stay mm -hmm. and they if they have small place they cannot stay sadly mm -hmm. safety you know for example think about the amazon mm -hmm. or african wherever jungle you know people they kill animal like a tiger or could be a, uh, how to say elephant to take the horn right the business because it's gain and you can gain a lot of money mm -hmm. you see also those kinds of people who still organize to the big big animal to take care of them physically you know like a treatment mm -hmm. everything medically you know so in that way uh, I think it's acceptable but if someone let's say rich people to make money mm -hmm. you know they have business they're showing like that but main intention to gaining money that's not good and i you guess that's that. the difference between a zoo yeah. versus the sanctuary yeah 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 so, so that's what i i think myself you know okay yes yeah, so like that you know and I guess there's just t two more thoughts I had, and, and one was around the offerings, because it sounds like for yourself, being vegan, if someone gives you something that's not vegan, is, is there a, po a polite way that you can tell them, um, I don't choose to participate in this? Or, because um, I guess by accepting it, would you be kind of um, feeding into their bad karma? And their, the intention, you know, there's, there's killing behind? Does that make sense, kind of the... Yeah, yeah, actually, you know, uh if I talk about the Thailand, in uh -huh. Thailand, Buddhist monk, they don't decide food by themselves. Mm -hmm. That's why they go to answer around early in the morning. They take two times food for one day, breakfast and lunch. So the people that the monk food food for the monks people decided, you know. So we go to collect food. We don't ask the food. We don't knock the door. We don't beg the food. We just walk mindfully. So those people who want to offer food or something to dedicate their good deeds by offering to someone for rest in peace. They invite monks, they offer food. So any food they offer, we ac receive, we accept. And you know what? People, they don't know is this monk is vegetarian or non best because we have no sign, please give me vegetarian <laughs> food, you know? Uh -huh. so, uh, so whatever people offer, it's not important that will you going to eat or not, but important to accept. People has right intention, you know, and there is some rules, I guess, for the monks. You should not kill to eat them, mm. you know, you should avoid from killing, you know, and you sh that's why if Buddhist monk see someone killing and chicken, I, I show up, for example, you kill for me, I, sh I cannot eat any kinds of meat. Yeah. Even I hear that someone killing for me, I cannot eat, even if a non-vegetarian, you mm. know, and yeah, something like that. So in Thailand, for the Buddhist monk, they don't decide food. But for the Buddhist people, guys, they has already teaching, avoiding killing any living beings. Still people killing as a Buddhist or someone doing business. So who am I to change them? But yeah. as a monk, I try to spreading my teaching to them. Maybe one day they will realize when they lost their son or daughter or something, you know, they will realize, they think what I did. That's why it happened, that the kind of bad karma come to my life. Mm -hmm. One day, everyone, I guess, will be vegan. Yeah, and I guess, um, uh, as a, it seems like as monks have a position of influence, yeah. and it'd be great, I think, to be able to say, you know, help help others, you know, 
um, learn not to participate yes. in that. And um, so the last qu- the last thing is just, do you think if we can find a way um, uh, to respect animals, we can better find a way to respect each other? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So in that way, you know, uh, we have to spread more our loving kindness, compassion to all living beings for rest and peace by doing good, avoiding bad and curing the mind, you know. So, for example, um, for example, you meditate. Uh-huh. That's your good deed. Uh-huh. You're not saying, you're not talking, even you have thoughts, but you let your mind to concentrate to one thing, you know, you can mm-hmm. calm the mind. So that kind of good deed, good action, you can dedicate to all living beings for rest and peace, you know. Yeah. So this is the best way to do or dedicate your good deeds. And also, you know, we can also, um, like, having more, how to say, talking about that, mm-hmm. not to harm, not to violence to any living beings, or like having the small, like, like, like you, you are doing such a good job, you know, you have sign on, on your t-shirt, you know, and, you know, people, you don't have to say someone, because people can see, they can read how it's good message. Mm-hmm. That's why in one day meditation, I told 75 people, you know, Last week, uh-huh. I told them, look at him. Can you read it louder? How is good message for the world? Mm-hmm. You know, we can learn by avoiding killing the animals. And one day there will be no killing even human being. You know, something like that, you know. So yeah. by the having some posters on the t-shirt or somewhere, you know, or having some like, a, like you're doing such a good job recording something or have a small video mm-hmm. talking with someone, not only monk, with the, some people from different countries to upload in the YouTube or somewhere. At least people, people can learn and maybe step by step people will realize and, you know, there's a way to protect, like abusing the animals, you know, and then uh, stop like a violence to the animal beings. In that way, when we able to stop abusing or how to say uh, violence to the animal being then we will learn ourselves not to abuse not to violence each other so one day the world will be more peace and happy you know uh, all living beings no matter animal or human being we can stay together and that's why I always say you know may all living beings be free from suffering and pain be free from dangers and problems be free from illness or sickness I always say all this wish may all living beings be peace and happy may peace and happiness be revealed to all the living beings that's what i said so anyway thank you so much and i really appreciate it your great job i appreciate it thank you wish you all the best guys and thank you for your kindness you're and welcome. taking the time to meet with us you're welcome yes. namaste khan appreciate it yeah the most important to okay avoiding fine <laughs> Power of meditation and patience. <laughs> Good audio. See? <laughs> this, good, this is the patience and letting it go. Yeah, that's so what I want to say. We need a lot of patience in this situation. Yeah. You know, someone making noise, a lot of sunrise, feeling hot. Or yeah, just a couple more questions. Because no, no, no. I think, yeah. You know, this is not too much painful. Yeah, I f- feel a lot of heart or something suffer, but uh-huh. I'm saving the suffer in the la- in the world to all the living beings. You know what I mean? So why I not well put. Don't patient? I think that's a good. Yeah, yes. the big picture, not just yeah. ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know.